Welcome everyone and I want to take this chance to thank you very much for your great support on this channel through your subscriptions, likes, comments and also sharing. If this may be your first time you are watching me at YouTube channel Zion Kenya TV, I request you again just take a one second kindly and click the subscriptions button and subscribe. I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. The real reality or the heartbreaking on a certain Raila, Ruto, Kalonzo and Ichungwa talk is bringing anxiety to large numbers of Kenyans. But the main theme of this topic of today is that the Raila is not rough enough to force Ruto into a meaningful talk. Ruto is playing his game with Raila. In other words, he is buying time to ensure that Raila's supporters will not come in large numbers to go back to the demonstration. So in this today's analysis, I wanted to analyze what might make this bipartisan talk to fail and with which under which condition because so many people are thinking that it is all about handshake but the reality remains that this is not all about handshake so the key point here which might make this bipartisan talk to fail and the reality remains the, the same i want us to go to the straight point and I think those who follow the politics of Kenya today will automatically understand. The Kimani Ichungwa speech on what is said while at Kidurai, number one, is a reflection of making this bipartisan talk to fail. Because you saw the argument that the Azimio were interested on the five star hotel or Serena hotel. But at long last, it has been chosen, uh, bombers, as a better place for them. So that argument also can bring the, uh, can add the falling of this bipartisan talk. And also, it is revealing that Ruto is not interested to have a talk with Azimio coalition. Number two, why this is going to fall? It's because Ruto had played Raila and have wasted Raila's time. And even if it fall for a second time or third time, he will again call this bipartisan day in, day out, in order to reduce this false demonstration that Ruto was experiencing under his government. So that is the target that Ruto is trying to tell Raila. Number three, Kenya Kwanza coalition is undercards. What do I mean by saying undercards? These people are having five topics to discuss. But there are some, some, some secrets under their writings that they, are, they don't want to expose to media, which they have been instructed by the president. And this is what is going to happen, if I may be the best or the trial analysis, that Kenya Kwanza will present their topic of discussion. But when they will hear Azimio saying that the opening of servers, the opening of uh, whichever I see, partial and also the distribution of the government portion, or the creation of job vacancies to those who are in Azimio, then automatically they are going to split. So Ruto have put these people into a target. Then if they will fail, Ruto is going to blame them. You see? So these are the effect 
and these are the reality that will make the bipartisan talk to fall. Number four, Kalonzo is a soft leader. Kalonzo is a sober leader. Kalonzo knows how to talk. But those who they have been put with are rough and they don't have time to discuss the Azimio uh, agendas. So even you, you've seen them, how they, they always talk at social media. The fifth one, which might be stronger and make this to happen, is that Uhuru played Raila very clear. Because if Uhuru had all the instrument to stop President Ruto from not becoming the president of Republic of Kenya, but why again is behind this demonstration? Is Uhuru trying to get back for the presidency seat when it's come to 2027 general election, which is not possible as at now? So there is a game here these people are playing, and Raila might not see. I don't know who is, who is advising the former prime minister. Even if you are dull in politics, but this is open that these people are playing the games. The sixth one the, that will make the bipartisan talk to fall is Kalonzo Echungwa reaction. What do I mean by saying that? Echungwa is arrogant. Echungwa is rough. Echungwa cannot have time to listen to issues like opening of servers, issues like creation of job opportunity to the Azimio side. What they can listen to is only the people's welfare or the people's concern of living. That is it. And if you see, Kenya Kwanza is just expecting that one agenda. And even you heard Ichungwa is saying that. So this other topic is going to differ, to bring differ between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio. It is very tough to understand. But let's take it an open table that the Samia Sulu and also Obasanjo Conning Games is also uh, making this bipartisan talk to fail because it is a clear indication that the president has no interest with the former prime minister. They are in power, they clench into power, they can do whatever they want. So it means that these people are buying time in order to stop this demonstration, not to get further as it were before. Then lastly, how Raila have been cornered. It is very unfortunate to say that Azimio is the one interested on this bipartisan talk. Even as the demonstration is going down, but both Anshik, which is being targeted by both political parties, is just a political issue, in quote. But the real interested on this talk is coming from Azimio. When you see Kenya Kwanza, they don't have that interested at all. So these are the issues which might make this bipartisan talk to fall. Let I mean, let us accept the reality that K. Azimio was played. Do you, are you aware that Ouru knows what he is doing up to date? It's just buying time because I'm very much sure that Ouru and Ruto plotted this. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are your conclusions on this uncertain move that Kenyans are waiting for a second chance?
to bipartisan talk? Do you having hope that these people are going to agree? With me, my answer is still no, unless I doubt. What are your conclusion? I'm eagerly waiting for your comment at the comment section. That is what I had to share with you at this point. As we prepare, I wish you all the best till we meet on another video. Thank you very much.